To other news now, artillery fire has come down on the grounds of a school in eastern Ukraine city of Donetsk. Artis Roman Kosorov is there. And just a warning, his report contains some disturbing images. This is uh, one of the high schools uh, here in uh, Donetsk and uh, today it was uh, uh, hit by a shell and we're now located on uh, on a football pitch on the in this uh, school and uh, from what we have found out two children have uh, been uh, killed today two teenagers and uh, they have been picked up uh, right from over here I'm not going to walk any closer because we can uh, there are still remains on the ground uh, of these kids but obviously the bodies have been picked up uh, from what I can see right here, uh, they have been ripped up. All of this is happening is uh, despite the fact that uh, Ukrainian President Pyotr Poroshenko has announced his uh, commitment uh, to the ceasefire. All the meanwhile, the forces around the so-called Donetsk People's Republic uh, have been gathering up. And I'm talking about the forces uh, of the uh, Ukrainian military. Here is what one of the survivors I had to say about the latest events in eastern Ukraine. We were about to run away, and just next to the sports ground gate, a shell hit the fence. Three of the kids managed to get away. Two of my friends were killed. Now, the four survivors were taken to an intensive care unit at a local hospital, and one of them is currently in serious condition. All had to undergo surgery. The youngest of the wounded is just 11 years old. Amnesty International is now demanding those responsible for the tragedy to be brought to justice. A thorough investigation must be held into the shocking attack in Donetsk. If it proves to amount to a war crime, all those responsible should be held accountable. Of course, we'll bring you more information on the situation in eastern Ukraine as we get it in. As always, you can find more detailed facts on our website, rt.com.